Hello everyone, the votes are in for your You Pick Tuesday video. Nathan Diasha versus Brandon Curry wins with 31% in second place. Vitaly Yugulnikov Gudvito versus Carlos Thomas Jr. with 27%. And the same deal goes, guys. And we can do it. We have yet to do it, but we can do it. Get this video up to 1,000 likes and I will do the second. And I tell you what, just a little extra incentive because we haven't done it yet. I'll do the third most popular request as well. So that's the deal, guys. We can do it. All you have to do, hit that thumbs up button. But anyway, this is the matchup. And I'm going to begin with a little rant about Nathan Diasha. I do, in fact, believe he was ripped off at his last event. This is from the Yamamoto Pro or Yamamoto Cup. He won. He was winning shows. He was qualifying all over the place. He qualified all over the place for the 2020 Olympia as well, but he, he uh, neglected to show up. But either way, either way, in my opinion, watch this. Boom. Superset man. Boom. Copyright on. He brought his best package here. Prog Pro. And he didn't win. Now, seems to me that he was ripped off, right? But guess what? NPC News Online doesn't show the pictures from this event. And the other websites only show a front double buy, which is obviously showing that Nathan was, he was in shape. He was definitely in better shape here. Fuller, more round, but no back shots to do comparisons to prove that he was ripped off. So I definitely think that he's being ripped off. But either way, guys, that's just me. He's definitely standing up to Brandon Curry. And unfortunately, like I said, we don't have all of the shots from Prog Pro. Just one or two. I'll show you both of them. There's a side chest as well. But anyway, anyway, wheel department, for sure he's beating Brandon Curry. No question. But when you look at the upper body, this could be a Brandon Curry game. Those arms are massive. And look at that silhouette. What a V taper. One of the best set of arms in bodybuilding today. But Nathan Diasha, uh, his midsection... Looks a whole lot flatter. Looks a whole lot tighter to me. I mean, the guy looked like he brought it. He brought a fantastic package. But I mean, it's it's upper body versus lower body. Let's face it. And I think it's closer in the upper body. So, I don't know. You might have to lean towards Nathan Diasha, But very close. Very close. And you can't win a bodybuilding competition on one pose. Front lat spread. And unfortunately, this is the Yamamoto... And you can see, you could see, not that he wasn't in shape here. Nathan Diasha, he was, you know, it, it was a winning version. He won the show, no doubt. But just from that one picture you could see from the prog, he had extra vascularity. He looked he was more separated. He even looked fuller, for goodness sakes. This is a Brandon Curry pose. And let's not ignore the elephant in the room here. Looks like Nathan Diasha could take Brandon Curry. But I mean, he's Curry's a former Olympia champion. He's going to have politics on his side. Oh, did I even mention? These guys are both competing at the Arnold Classic. I'm sure, uh, at least most of you guys, the diehard bodybuilding fans, realize that. I don't know, guys. I don't know. It looks like Nathan Diasha is filled out a whole lot more, and his midsection definitely looks smaller. And on that big frame, guy's pretty hard to beat. And that's the first two shots. It's looking good for the big Nathan Diasha. Side chest. Now these are all Brandon Curry poses. These are also all Nathan Diasha shots for sure. Look at how thick the pecs are on both men. Four of the biggest breasts that you're going to see in the male division. <laughs> At least the male division anyway. Throw the females in there, get out of town. I mean, they're going to... But anyway, 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 enough of that foolishness. Now, this is a situation where, now watch this. Whoosh, we have the Prog Pro. He was clearly in better shape, so why did he lose? Why did he lose? Doesn't make sense to me. Doesn't make sense to me. I, th I think that he should have won for sure, the Prog Pro, but they didn't have the pit. They didn't release the pitchers. There's no pitchers, no back shots, you know. Can't really tell from the few little shots that they do have. But anyway, it kind of sucks. Nathan Diasha, he's definitely giving Brandon Curry a run for his money. And you guys have to be honest with yourselves. Can't just call me a fanboy. 
of Nathan Diasha. Hey, I've been rooting for this guy for years. I made a video a long time ago, and I don't recommend it because my, my voice is just terrible. I, I, I sound terrible. Anyway, but I said Nathan Diasha. He was actually the first one in the video that I said. He will be a Mr. Olympia champion someday. And hey, you never know, guys. Definitely giving the, you know, everything he's worth here. Look at the wheel department. Domination. Have a look at the back shots. The first of the two. I mean, downright sucks that we don't have the Prog Pro. Because I bet dollars to donuts. Diasha was drier. Diasha was fuller. And he might have defeated Brandon Curry. Hard to say, though, guys. Brandon Curry, very dry in the lower half. I made them about the same height here because Nathan Diasha bends quite substantially at the knees. Curry stands rather straight, rather tall in the back shots. I guess, hey, it works for him. Diasha appears to be harder. More uh, muscle separation in the back. Look at those traps, though, of Brandon Curry and those delts. Those arms, like I said, some of the best in bodybuilding history. Now, when you look at the lower back, dare I say, Diasha might be in better condition. Might be, might be. Lower lat insertions, of course, for Brandon Curry. Look at that back. Pretty good, but like I said, just looks harder. A little bit grainier for Diasha. Gosh darn it, gosh darn it. Prog Pro, I wish we had the pitchers. Rear lat spread. And this is usually a take home for Brandon Curry. Look at the width. He uh, also, like I said earlier, he's, you know, he's number two at the Olympia. He's going to be in condition. He's going to be in shape. He's definitely dry. Wow, Brandon Curry, he really improved in that area. Look at the width. Very full is uh, Brandon Curry. Now, just, f just for uh, shats and gags, let's have a look at a uh, Europa Pro of Nathan Diasha. He was very full at this event. Can he match girth, match width with Brandon Curry in that rear lat? Mm, it's close. It's close. Curry, keep in mind, guys, he was, you know, giving everybody on that Olympia lineup a run for their money in this rear lat spread. Could be very close, guys. And like I said, it is an onion in my ointment that we do not have that Prog Pro pitchers to show you the... I think he peaked at the Prog Pro for the goodness sakes. And they placed him, what, fourth? Fourth? Are you kidding me? Baby, that gets me so upset. Anyway, anyway, side tricep, otherwise known as the hoo-ha pose. The hoo-ha position. I like this pose for both guys. Obviously, Curry, he's opened up a whole lot fuller. I mean, showing that the width of his upper body in comparison with that Victorian, very Victorian waistline. I mean, come on. Look at those abs uh, bulging. Very lean is the midsection of Nathan Diasha. It's too bad he... He wasn't tilted a little bit more thusly, but in this position, he shows the tricep itself, and that's what a side tricep is all a boot. Canadian bout, it's a boot. So, you know, it's not a front tricep. It's a, it is a hoo-ha pose at the end of the day. Very dry is curry here. Ugh, ugh. Anyway, 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 anyway. This is a very close matchup, guys. Go to the abs and thigh. And there is no doubt in my mind that Nathan Diasha is going to walk away with the victory in the abs and thigh. Very cut up in the abs is Nathan Diasha. And actually, I've seen Curry a whole lot more diced in those abs. Maybe a little bit too smooth, Gorilla. Maybe a little bit too smooth, Monsoon. For the abs of Brandon Curry. In particular when you compare him with the sliced and diced abs and thigh of one big Nathan D. Asha. Finish this one off with a most muscular. Very close in the muscularity department here. Definitely close in the conditioning as well. With an edge to Curry, of course. Like I mentioned earlier, D. Asha really peaked after this event. Gosh darn it, not even a most muscular pick. Not a good one anyway. Pan back, blurry ones. You know what I'm saying, guys. There's no good shots. But man, oh man, if he was a little fuller, a little bit more vascular, a little bit more cut up, I think he could take Curry in this most muscular. Curry, 
he has that overall dryness. I mean, the guy was two, like I said, two at the Olympia. It's a winning at any other show. It's a winning version for sure. And will he win the Arnold Classics? If it comes down to Nathan Diasha and Brandon Curry, of course, of course, the judges are going to pick Brandon Curry. I mean, Diasha was ripped off at the Prague Pro, right? So he's it's going to be normal that he's going to be ripped off at the Arnold Classics. But using the pitchers from the Yamamoto, I do believe that Curry may have got an edge. Just with a little dryness and conditioning. In which case, Diasha brought at the Prog Pro. So it's a, it's a question that really can't be answered. I guess we'll have to see. And hopefully, Nathan Diasha does bring that Prog Pro version with maybe the judges opening their eyes a little bit. But anyway, I don't want to get into that, guys. It's a tough job. Definitely a tough job. Judge bodybuilding competitions. But... Sometimes you just, uh, you know, you know, like I was ripped off, things of that nature. But anyway, anyway, hit thumbs up on the video, guys. That's your You Pick Tuesday. Get it up to 1,000 likes, and I will do the next most popular, and even the third. Have a great day.